I did feel European. I still do, but I just, I can't tell you why. <laughs> There's a sense of like community, I guess, that I don't know. I don't like the idea that that's ended. I don't think it has. I think it's really sad that we've decided to leave. <laughs> I, I was very upset, me and my mum and my sister. I stayed at home that day, actually. And I was woken up by my sister at six in the morning <laughs> um, to say that we'd, we'd left. And it, yeah, it just really upset me. I think it feels a shame that our country doesn't feel united with the rest of Europe. There's people that would feel that they'll never leave the, the Europe or the European Union, but in terms of actually physically what's happened, I don't think we'll go back. But I do think there's no, I don't feel any different. I don't feel any differently towards other Europeans. I feel there's an element of me that still wants to say that that's me. I don't want to say I'm now British and I don't believe in that. But yeah, I think a lot of the people that did vote leave were A, not surrounded. So London obviously was majority stay, but that's because they're surrounded. There's a like there's a multicultural group. We all live together as one, but a lot of places that voted leave don't live like that. So they don't mix anyway and they're more likely to blame the finger at people that they don't know or don't associate with as much and yeah a lot of them would be places where there was a lot of people that lived on the dole didn't have jobs and they'd then turn and blame the pakistani shop you know or the polish taking all our jobs things like that it's just 